scale extras. The race between tech giants to dominate AI has been heating up for years, but now it's spilling over into the mind-blowing world of quantum computing. Today, we're diving into a game changer. Microsoft just unveiled Majorana 1, the world's first quantum processor powered by topological qubits. And they claim it's built on a brand new state of matter. Yep, you heard that right, a new state of matter. Stick around as we unpack why it's called Majorana, who the genius behind it was, and how this tiny chip could rewrite the rules of technology. Let's dive in. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button and join us as we decode the wildest innovations shaping our future. First up, why Majorana? The name comes from Ettore Majorana, an Italian physicist whose story is as mysterious as the particles he theorized. Born in Sicily in 1906, this guy was a prodigy from the jump. As a kid, it was obvious he was destined for greatness. Math and physics were his playground. He breezed through high school early, headed to Rome to study engineering, then switched to physics because, well, he was just that brilliant. In his short career, Majorana made waves. Some say he could have snagged a Nobel Prize for discovering the neutron. But James Chadwick beat him to it in 1935. Then, in 1938, poof, he vanished. On March 25th, he sent a cryptic note to the Naples Physics Institute saying he wasn't coming back. Was it suicide? Maybe he'd emptied his bank account a week earlier. Or did he just disappear into obscurity? We'll never know for sure. But his legacy? That lives on in particle physics. In 1937, Majorana hypothesized something wild, a Fermi in a tiny building block of matter that's its own antiparticle. Unlike regular Dirac fermions, which have distinct antiparticles, a Majorana fermion is a lone wolf. If two meet, they don't annihilate, they just coexist. For decades, this was just a cool idea on paper with no proof it existed in nature. That is, until Microsoft stepped in. Fast forward to February 2025, and Microsoft's dropped a bombshell. Majorana 1, their first quantum processor, powered by these elusive Majorana particles. This isn't just another tech upgrade. It's a leap that could change everything. Quantum computing promises to solve problems. Classical computers can't touch think cracking complex chemistry for new drugs or designing materials that heal themselves. But here's the catch. Quantum computers need stable qubits, the quantum version of bits. Regular qubits, super fragile. One little hiccup like a stray vibration in their toast. Microsoft's been chasing a fix for 20 years and Majorana 1 is their answer. So what's the big deal with Majorana 1? At its core are topological qubits fancy name, right? These qubits use Majorana Zero Modes, or MZMs, which are like quasi-particles that pop up when electrons team up in a special way. Why is that cool? Because they're ridiculously stable. Unlike other qubits that need tons of error correction, topological qubits have protection baked in, thanks to their unique twisty physics. Microsoft says this could scale up to millions of qubits on one chip millions. Right now it's got eight which sounds small compared to, say, Google's 106 qubit Willow chip. But here's the kicker. It's not about the count yet, it's about the potential. To pull this off, Microsoft invented something straight out of sci-fi, a new state of matter called a topological superconductor, or topo conductor. Forget solids, liquids, or gases, this is next level stuff. They combined indium arsenide, a semiconductor you'd find in night vision goggles, with aluminum, a superconductor. Cool it to near absolute zero. Tweak it with magnetic fields and boom. You've got nanowires with Majorana zero modes at the ends. It's like coaxing a ghost into existence. Chetan Nayak, a Microsoft quantum guru, put it perfectly. We said let's invent the transistor for the quantum age. And that's what they've done. Built a whole new material stack from scratch. Imagine this. A quantum computer with a million qubits, small enough to fit in your hand solving problems no supercomputer can touch. Microsoft's not there yet. Majorana 1 is a proof of concept with 8 qubits, but they've got a roadmap. Next up, scaling to 2 qubits for entanglement, then 8 for error detection, all the way to a full-blown quantum beast. Critics say it's hype, that scaling's a pipe dream. But if Microsoft pulls it off, we're talking a tech revolution. Hey, it's Rob. Yeah, well, great, great to meet great you. Seeing you. <laughs> how are you? Well, thanks so much for coming up. No, thanks for setting it up and agreeing to do it. I love how it turned out, by the way. That <laughs> just the fact that I noticed your email and the uh, subscriber list. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm also especially excited to just ask you about the things you're especially excited to talk about. That we now finally have existence proof 
uh, at a physics breakthrough, a new phase of matter effect. A million qubit quantum computer in a thing of this size is just unbelievable. Amazing. Yeah. Um, the videos and the real-time demo in your gaming world model. Only once I talked to her did it really hit me how incredible this is. Kind of like, you know, the first time we saw ChatGPT complete sentences or Dolly, Draw, or Sora, this is kind of one such moment. How do you bring these things together? Ultimately, not as tech for tech sake, but solving some of the fundamental things that we as humans want in our life and more we want them in our economy driving our productivity. And so if we can somehow get that right, uh, then I think we would have really made progress. It's wonderful. Yes, it's yes, thanks for making the time, Satya. I thought it was funny that you mentioned the um, like you know triaging my emails and everything, and also you responded to my email in like five minutes. So <laughs> clearly you're on top of it. I don't know how much the guys can help you. <laughs> Did you know that the coldest place in the universe is actually not interstellar space anymore? It's right here in this lab inside this incredibly high-tech freezer that is housing one of the biggest breakthroughs in quantum computing history. For the last 19 years, Microsoft's research in quantum computing has all led to this. Meet Majorana 1. The calculations that this is able to deliver are so complicated that even if today's computer was the size of the entire planet, it would still not be able to compute it. They've managed to create an entirely new state of matter, not a solid, liquid, or a gas, but a topological state. So for this chip, they're not building it from electrons. They're using Majoranas for computing, which is an entirely new particle. It's actually half of an electron, allowing it to store up to a million qubits on a single chip. For context, something like this normally would have taken the size of a warehouse to achieve. But they've managed to fit it inside of a chip that I can hold in my hand. Now the wild part is to get this new state of matter, they need very specific conditions that this fancy freezer is able to deliver. It takes about a day to fully cool, but it's able to get down to 50 millikelvin, which is about 10 times colder than interstellar space. So why is this so important? What used to take up large amounts of space, it can now all be done with this palm-sized chip. But the calculations that it's able to deliver are so extremely accurate. Most lab experiments can be done on a quantum computer instead of an actual lab. With AI, it'll be able to augment the AI capabilities to find even more discoveries. I cannot wait to see what they do with this. What would the world look like with a computer that could accurately model the laws of nature? That's the promise of quantum computing, but there have always been limitations. Now is one of our longest running research projects. Our team at Microsoft has been able to take a subatomic particle that has only been theorized until now and not only observe it, but control it, creating an entirely new material and a new architecture for quantum computing. One that can scale to millions of qubits on a single chip. This is not a work of science. It's a work of science and art. I gotta be honest, some of these ideas are a little science fiction sounding. It will solve problems unsolvable by the combined power of all the world's compute today and promises to revolutionize fields such as medicine, material science, and our understanding of the natural world. Our first quantum processor based on this architecture is the Majorana 1. Yeah, I've always been fascinated with puzzles and challenges and a mixture of mathematics and computers. And so when I learned that there was this type of computer that didn't exist yet, but could solve problems that we couldn't solve with our digital, you know, all of the computers we had, I was just fascinated. I wanted to learn, well, how can I help that computer be built? Over the years, I ran into problems that I could not solve on the most powerful computers. But then over time, I realized, hey, I could solve that if I had a quantum computer. A laptop can solve a problem of 10 electrons. A supercomputer can solve a problem of 20 electrons. But no classical computer in the world can exactly solve the behavior of 30 or 40 or 50 electrons. The number 30, 40, 50 electrons, those numbers are seemingly small, but require up to lifetime in the universe timescales to solve with all of the world's computers operating together. 
That's until you have a scaled quantum computer that can solve these problems efficiently. These calculations are so complicated that then if the classical computer was as big as this entire planet, it would still not be able to compute it, just to give you a construct of scale. And a quantum computer can do it, and can do it very, very well. At the core of a quantum computer are these qubits. Qubits are like our classical bits, right? These are essentially zeros and ones um, in a transistor. Um, and we need the analog of that in quantum computing. The analog is a qubit, a quantum bit, that serves as that core information unit. It's where we store the information and then we process on those qubits uh, to create computation and ultimately you know, get solutions back out. Now there's many different ways, right, to create a qubit. The reason quantum computing has been so slow to progress is that the industry has been struggling with problems making qubits reliable and resistant to noise. Progress has been incremental. The challenge is qubits are actually pretty delicate in general, so you need underlying qubits that are, that are really stable, but you don't want that to come at a cost because uh, you don't want your underlying qubits to be really big. That's one way to make it more stable is have them really big. But if they're really big and you're still going to need many of them, then you know how are you going to fit them all into, into your system? You don't want to deal with something the size of a, of, a, of a warehouse. Then the second thing is you don't want to... That's the scoop on Majorana 1, a new state of matter, a nod to a vanished genius, and a quantum leap forward. What do you think will Microsoft crack the quantum code? Or is this just the start of a long climb? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit like if you're hyped, and subscribe for more tech breakthroughs.